Tonight on 8 out of 10 Cats, Does Countdown. Sean Unlock, John Richardson, Sarah Pascoe, Richard Ioadi, Nick Held, Susie Dent, Rachel Riley, and your host, Jim Welcome to Edit of Ten Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers, and conundrums. Okay, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's team captain John Richardson. <laughs> oh. John, if you're here, who's back at your house desperately trying to persuade your wife not to leave? <laughs> <laughs> and John's teammate this evening, Sarah Pascoe. <laughs> Sarah is a vegan, so she's always making people who visit her vegetables. Bit like Sean, but he does it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and I get away with it. <laughs> Up against them this evening, it's team captain Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean Locke, he's taking the countdown like a duck to snooker. <laughs> and joining Sean tonight, it's Richard Iwadi. <laughs> Richard Iwadi, if he was any stiffer, we'd have to pixelate him. <laughs> Can I ask you, Sean, do you have any celebrity beefs? Loads. Uh, Paloma Faith. What's your issue with Paloma? All I said... All... <laughs> all I said was she had a shit hat... <laughs> ..and she's a pound shop Bjork. <laughs> and then... Oh, kaboom. That's so me. Um, <laughs> Yoko Ono. <laughs> Come on, woman, you're talented. We want another album. Get out there and do it. <laughs> um, oh, oh. Nick Knowles. Hello, oh, money. <laughs> <laughs> what did you...? Nick makes his own Viagra. <laughs> uh, in a lock-up. And, uh, right. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's too good. It's like rigor mortis. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you haven't tested this on anyone, have you? <laughs> I said, I'm not paying for this until it's been rigorously tested, so uh, we've fallen out. Um, Tom Hanks, cos he keeps... I bought an audio book. You know he does these audio books? Mm -hmm. He's got this audio book of him. He keeps gulping. <laughs> 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 and Stephen Hawking, the same problem, but not... Gulping was I've, I've got his audio books. He did brief history of time. Yeah, and cheeky bugger because he knows nobody finishes it halfway through it just starts humming <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, John is there any John Richardson merchandise available, you know for your fans um, very little official There's stuff knocking about on the dark web. There's a few sort of crotchless Swansea cardigans that have got my face on, but they're nothing to do with me. I have to make that very clear. Um, I have uh, things I'm launching that are mine. Um, the Rico Sphere we're working on at the moment, which is like it creates a sort of John Richardson atmosphere in any room. So it's a bit like a dehumidifier, but for fun. <laughs> um, so we're working on those. And the one thing we're very excited about is my scented candle. Which is, we're a bit late because Gwyneth got hers out first, the old <laughs> vagina kind of. So I've got one that smells of my testicles. <laughs> but um, sadly, the day we did the lab day, I'd just had a bath, so it's just a lavender candle. <laughs> with just a few pubes on it, just to give you a sense of authenticity. It would be a nice thing for visitors, like, smell that, what do you think that is? Yeah. John Richardson's Richardson left testicle. They, they, they come in a pack of two, left and right. <laughs> Double in the profit. Um, Sarah, what's the most important life lesson you've ever learnt? Oh, this is quite recently. Never give your address out to Lily Allen. I got a phone call saying, um, Lily Allen would uh, like to make you feel more sexually empowered. Can she have your address? Of course she would. <laughs> a couple of hours later, doorbell goes, and there's a man there, and he's really, really blushing because he's holding a bag that says, I masturbate down it in really large letters and you can't park anywhere in my house so it's had to walk like a really long way and then I didn't think I just put it down in the hall the, the bag and um, but my dog found it ripped it all apart took it out in the garden I didn't realize so I looked out the window and the dog is playing on the lawn with a dildo <laughs> I didn't feel very sexually empowered at all and um, eventually <laughs> threw the bag away um, with the obviously ruined dildo but then what happened was um, when the recycling men came they were very sloppy and the bag fell out 
and it was going up and down the road in the wind. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it, but it had my address on it. So someone came and put it on my doorknob, and so I came home and it just said, I masturbate outside the front door. <laughs> and now I can't masturbate anymore without thinking about Lily Allen. <laughs> She's got her own brand sex toys, the, yeah. the womanizer, which I believe is named after John Richardson, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, how much can you polish up a sex toy? I mean, how much can you improve it? Well, no, it's a different... It's a... It's a... It's, it's, a, it's a suction. Yeah. I feel 38 years in, I just got to grips with sex and what it was. But isn't that what you do to a man? You suck... No, you blow on the man, you blow. <laughs> man likes to be... Man likes to be blown. But, no, I just think... Obviously, that's a very cynical celebrity ploy, isn't it? That thing where they go... I'm helping women liberate themselves. Oh, I see. No, I'm shifting some fucking gear, mate. That's, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's basically what she's doing. She's yeah. going, yeah. I'm yeah. liberating women. No, you're not. You make a few quid, love. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Sean. I don't think you'd get away with it. I challenge Lily Allen now. <laughs> we'll see who is the master sex toy designer. <laughs> what, would your, what would your brand name be? I mean, would it just be... Lock and Load? I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. No more than 20%. 20%. No more. <laughs> uh, Richard, apparently you're in the new Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. What, so what do you play, like a Jedi or a cool sort of Han Solo figure? Well, um, I play a droid. <laughs> <laughs> um, they didn't actually have to put any treatment on my voice. I already sound like a robot. <laughs> uh, so it was a very easy experience, in and out, and uh, I didn't have to visit the set. Um, or speak to anyone, or be near it. Can I ask a question? I, I would love an honest answer here. Yes. Have you seen The Mandalorian that you're in? No. I, I, if I was in it, I'd definitely watch it. Right. You're in it. What more do you need the Disney to do to get you to watch a Star Wars thing? Me being in it is like a kryptonite for me. Yeah. I, I do not... I have to live with this. <laughs> Why would I want it reflected back at me? Richard, have you got a mascot this evening? I'm... I'm wearing it. What this, have you done? It's my lucky cast. Well, hang on, it's got a calculator on it. That's what brings me the luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have a calculator on Countdown, that's not in the rules. That is... not good luck. <laughs> OK, so I, I'll, um... I've, al I've always got a backup. <laughs> regular... non-calculator so you, so you, cast. You've actually broken your arm? Yes. How did you break your arm? I was fighting for justice. <laughs> Could you be slightly more specific? Well, justice? <laughs> well, justice. Less specific, isn't it? National justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, have you got a mascot? Yes, of course. During the lockdown, I had to look for new revenue streams because obviously the comedy business has dried up. Right. So I thought I'd go back to what I was good at before. What, what were you doing before? I'm modelling. <laughs> <laughs> now, sir. Quite a successful male model. <laughs> to let you know how, just how famous and successful I was, I had one name and I was just called by it. What, what, what was the name? What were you known by? <laughs> didn't think that up. Um, <laughs> Richard? <laughs> Cliff. 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 <laughs> I was Cliff. Cliff. <laughs> Cliff. And, uh, no, I had a really good career and it was going really well until I had the accident and I had to give up modelling. What, what was the accident? Well, I was doing a tour of the Canistan factory. <laughs> uh, you know, like you do a tour of a brewery. And, uh... How are you pronouncing Canistan? <laughs> Canistan. Canistan, you know, the country in the Middle East. I fell in, I fell in the vat. And uh, it's not really clear what happened. But nobody wanted to offer me any work after that. It just sort of dried up. <laughs> so I thought, I'd better go back to modelling, but I can't, obviously, do the facial stuff anymore. So I had to do sort of a be a bit more resourceful, do by the bits of my body. This is my one I do for um, toenail oh, infections. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your foot, is it? That's my foot. Oh. Uh, so I tell you what, one of the ironies is they asked me to be the uh, not the face of Canistan. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked to be the crotch of Canistan. <laughs> um, that's like full circle. I would not describe that as a full circle, but, yeah, that's... <laughs> it's a semicircle. <laughs> <laughs> and with that money, I bought a hot tub, which actually made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I do, get, I do a lot of plaque work and gum disease. <laughs> so, uh, look. 
Ooh. When someone says to you, month, don't brush your teeth, you go, yeah. <laughs> well, I saw the numbers. <laughs> this one is for um, just a horrible tongue. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what even is that? The stuff I had to lick. <laughs> the things that I had to lick to get my tongue like that, you would not believe. <laughs> um, you know when people run marathons? Yeah. They get joggers nipple. Oh, right. Who do they use? Oh. <laughs> Could you hold that just a little bit lower for me? Over a bit. No, the other way. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't oh, that's that... the money shot there. That's an album cover by the Libertines. <laughs> sure, lock everyone. Thank you. Um, Sarah, did you bring a mascot this evening? I did. Oh, what have you got? Well, I thought a lot about how I wanted to be better at the games, and I thought about the cleverest person that I know, and that is my dog, Mouse. <laughs> um, so I've got um, a picture of him. This is what he looks like. If, if you want to see what he looks like in, like, three dimensions, this is like a little statue. So you've had a, you've had a statue and a portrait done of your dog? Yeah. You know you can just stuff them. Is <laughs> 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 Um, so, I, I thought about channeling my dog's cleverness, and it works on two levels, because, actually, when you say a dog's a cl clever boy, good boy, usually they've just sniffed something or <laughs> eaten something, and everyone's like, oh, he's so clever. So I thought, I'd dress up as my dog. Even if I get naught points, you'd be like, well, that dog's playing Countdown. Clever girl, what a good... <laughs> Do you see? Um, oh, I found some more pictures of him. Actually, this is a real-life photograph. Um, he had Ooh. the same uh, modelling agent as Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Isn't that the most handsome dog you've ever seen? Well, I'm going to become him. <laughs> These are my paws. I mean, I, I love it. my dogs, but this feels like a problem. I love him so much, Jimmy. <laughs> so, look, now, when I'm doing Countdown, like, it's just my dog doing his maths. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what a clever dog! <laughs> He's playing Countdown! <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, that'll bring you good luck, I feel sure. Yeah. Um, John, have you got a mascot? Well, I mean, hands up, Jimmy, I didn't. I didn't have one. So, anyway, I got here a bit early and I nipped to, you know, the second-hand shop next to the studio? It's opposite the ancient burial ground. <laughs> you know that one? And they only had one thing left, would you believe it, and it was this. So I just managed to pick this up and it feels like... <laughs> I was just meant to find it. And I thought, we could be like a double act. I call him Richard Johnson. <laughs> I don't like it, Sires. It's your fucking problem with my eyes! Oh, it's genuinely creepy. Yeah, I don't like it, John. I don't think you should I be... I like the voice, though. I think you should be messing with this kind of voodoo stuff. There's nothing... There's nothing... I don't understand. People keep saying I keep showing people it. I, like I showed my daughter it this morning. She went fucking bananas. <laughs> you didn't wake her up with it, did you? Yeah. Good <laughs> morning! <laughs> <laughs> he loves a one-liner, so he's going to do some gags. He loves a blue joke. Hey! Who wants to hear a joke? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear a joke. Hey, you know they discovered diarrhoea is hereditary? No, I hadn't heard that. Hey, it runs in your jeans! Runs in your fucking <laughs> jeans! <laughs> do, do one for Susie that's about words. All right, then, Susie, you're like this. I shit, I shit <laughs> myself on a conch site the other day, and uh, as I was running to the toilet... Is it not running to the toilet? No, no, I was on a count site, so you're always going past tense. Oh, oh. Very good. <laughs> Good. OK, well, that's it here. I'll help you with letters as well. Okay. Uh, John Richardson, everyone. <laughs> Over in Dictionary Corner, it's Nick Helm. <laughs> we put Nick Helm in Dictionary Corner, which makes about as much sense as booking an orangutan to perform your laser eye surgery. <laughs> 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 Nick, what have you been up to since we last saw you? Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Nick. Um, what have I been up to? Um, mainly, um, I've been, like, uh, moving on. I've got a girlfriend. I've got a girlfriend now. Really? Where, yeah, what, yeah. Where's she from? Uh, she's from Canada. Uh, her name's... Um, her name's Alice uh, Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a hockey player <laughs> who uh, works in a maple syrup factory <laughs> for the weekend. <laughs> and, and, and we're in love. And she's... And she's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Who's gorgeous? Cos when you said she's gorgeous, you were looking directly at Susie Dent there. Cos you used to like Susie, didn't you? Yeah, used to. 
Come on! It's been a long <laughs> year. It's been a shit old year, hasn't it, Jimmy? We all got a fucking. Uh, We've got to move on with our lives, don't we? <laughs> and with, uh, with Nick, of course, it's Susie Dent. <laughs> Susie's latest book was printed with a load of mistakes. How could that happen? Well, I imagine the proofreader kept falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you tweet a word of the day. What, what's today's word, Susie? This one was just random, because, you know, I like to read the dictionary, and, um, and I came up with this great word, which is coniferous. Comiferous. Comiferous, yes. Oh, I like and it already. Yeah, you knew I like this one because it means bearing locks of new hair. No, it's not new, it's just been it's just been redistributed. <laughs> <laughs> well that's how you can describe yourself from now on. What, what is it again? Comiferous. It's got cum in it, so you like it. C-O-M-E. O-U-S. And in charge of the numbers is Rachel Riley. <laughs> Last year, Rachel gave birth to a baby girl. She was in labour for three hours, but then left because of all the anti-Semitism. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, you're a big Man United fan. Are you hoping the baby's going to be a fan too? Definitely. I was really proud. We finally got to sit down and watch a game because she's only little. It was Man United against Tottenham. Um, United scored first and she's, she was actually clapping. I was oh. really proud. And then it got to 4-1 to Tottenham and she clapped every single goal. <laughs> she just liked clapping. She was clapping Trump rallies and all sorts. She just <laughs> <laughs> At what age do you find out if a baby is evil? <laughs> <laughs> she might just be really horrible. Yes, sir, angling to be godmother. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the prize the teams will be competing for tonight is this, the countdown breakdancing kit. <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for the first game. Uh, John, Sarah, you get the first pick of the letters. Um, I'll start with a consonant, please. A consonant? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Very good for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Another consonant. S. One vowel. A. And then one consonant. T. And then another consonant. R. And then one vowel. E. Uh, one more consonant. L. And one more vowel. O. And one more consonant. Thank you. And an N. OK. For the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Get the uh, seafood platter. Thank you. I think it's all right from that camera, but from that shot, it, this looks kind of wrong. <laughs> Found it in Susie's dressing room. <laughs> Lily Allen sent it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what so... happens after you take Nick Knoll's secret Viagra. <laughs> uh, John, how many letters? Uh, seven. Uh, Sarah, how many? Seven. Richard, how many? Seven. Sean? Six. Um, Sean, what's your six? Strobe. Strobe. OK, uh, Richard, you're seven? Lobster. <sighs> Lobster. Lobster's an excellent word. John, you're seven? Blaster. OK, and Sarah, what was your word? Mine's an anagram of lobster. Bolster. Seven boys to both teams. <laughs> Magnificent work. Um, <laughs> you got seven there, which is good. It's, but that's the end of it. For a dog, that is yeah. really remarkable. Because that's it. You might be feeling really proud of yourself if you're seven. Then you remember, oh, a two-year-old dog got the same score <laughs> as you. For a man who's... Only hide for his lack of humanity. <laughs> it is impressive. Richard, you're making me really sad. I know, that's what's <laughs> lovely about a dog being there because they do respond to emotions. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, uh, Nick, Susie, could they have done any better? Uh, they could have got an eight, couldn't they? They could have got storable. <gasps> oh, yes, yeah, nice. I know. And baronets also. Okay, on to our first numbers round. Sean, Richard, you get to pick the numbers. <laughs> Usual, please. Two biggies and four little ones. Right, here we Nine, go. Nine, five, seven, and three. And the big one's 75 and 25. 
and the target, 741. Uh, your time starts now. The target was 741. Richard, did you get it? Um, I, maybe, yes. Maybe, yes, OK. Sarah, did you get it? Yeah. John, did you get it? Uh, yeah, we got it. Uh, Sean, did you get it? Sure thing. <laughs> sure thing, partner. I was worried that we didn't have, like, an old Western sort of feel to the show, but... Stagecoach came through just about bar an hour ago there. <laughs> How did you do it in that voice, please? Well, what I did was I took <laughs> about seven and, <laughs> seven and a three, and then I times that, but to 75, and then I took off the nine. I took off the nine. <laughs> <laughs> I took off the nine. Nice. Mm. Skills. <laughs> Sarah, did you do it the same way? The same way. OK, so uh, both teams have 17 points. And here is your teaser. The words are, Nuts Hero, the clue is, I'm heading down. That's Nuts Hero, I'm heading down. See you after the break. Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were nuts hero. The clue was, I'm heading down. It was, of course, Southern. OK, so both teams have 17 points. On to another letters game. Sean, Richard, your turn to choose. Four vowels and five consonants. U, I, E, O, W, G, P, and then S and T. Your time starts now. Hey, rabbit. Have a carrot. OK, have a few. You're a hungry boy. You're a hungry boy. You're a greedy boy, yes, you are. Yes, you are a greedy boy. Come on, greedy boy. Come on, greedy boy. Yeah. Yeah. You're a hungry little fella, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, eat it all up. Come on, have a big one. <laughs> you greedy fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've overfed it. What happened was there was a mix-up. Um, Susie ordered a, a giant rabbit off uh, <laughs> Amazon, and this turned up. <laughs> I mean, that is a cute rabbit, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this one, we're taking very good care of this one. After this, we just filmed for a couple of seconds with it, and, and then we're going to give it a nice bath backstage with carrots and onions. <laughs> <laughs> and also oh, isn't and frightened cool. of the dog, which is nice. <laughs> I reckon this rabbit could take you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, bye-bye, rabbit. Well, love you. <laughs> love you, Rabbit. Aww. You know John Ronson did that podcast and found out about people who like pay for niche porn? I've just found out mine is a man feeding a carrot <laughs> to a rabbit. Has that awoken <laughs> something within you? I would pay a lot of money just for a fully dressed man. Actually, in a suit worked. Feeding <laughs> a carrot to a rabbit saying he was a nice rabbit. Get the, um, <laughs> get the rabbit back. I think, she's... <laughs> I think she was nearly finished. <laughs> Richard, what have you got? Five. Uh, Sean, what did you get? Five. Uh, John? We got a six. But we don't think it's a word. Sarah, how many? Yeah, I wasn't playing cos I was looking at you and the rabbit. <laughs> OK, Sean, what's your five? Swipe. OK. Richard, your five? Guest. John, your six? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's a word or if it's spelt like this, but it feels like it should be a word. Spigot. Mm. Spigot. Yeah. Susie Dent straight in with a yeah, yeah, yeah. spigot's a yeah. word. What does spigot mean, Susie Dent? Spigot's like the tap on a cask or a, uh, a barrel. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Very good. Six points to John. Yeah, a spigot. <laughs> Nick, Susie, could they have done any better? Um, well, yeah, they could have got an eight. What was the eight? You're going to kick yourself, guys. It was wipeouts. Oh, oh lovely. Wow. Ah, yeah. Lovely stuff. OK, so, uh, well, at the end of that, Sean and Richard have 17, John and Sarah have 23. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, time for another numbers game. John, Sarah, your turn to choose. John, I've seen a lot of horror films with puppets like this. Are you not worried about it jumping into your body? I think I want to change bodies with that bald in saggy mess. Get to bugger it. <laughs> Freaking it. I'm not even touching it, mate. <laughs> we will have one big one, please, Rachel. And five little ones. Your numbers? A three, five, one, four, eight, and a big one, 75. And the target? 273. Okay, and your time starts now. Ooh. John, what, what happened? What have, you, what have you done with him? I've done anything. <laughs> Fuck's it gone? <laughs> Never mind. Did you get it? Two seven three, Jimmy. Sarah, did you get it? Yeah. Sean, did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And Richard, did you get it? I think so. Okay. Richard, how did you do it? Four times eight is thirty-two. Plus one is thirty-three. Yeah. Seventy-five plus five times three. Yeah, haven't used any of those. 240. 240, and then you add those. That'll do. Brilliant. Wow. Did you get it in the same way? I got it a different way. I How did, did you get 75 it? 75 times 4 is 300. Yep. And then um, I had a 3. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 3 is 27, and I minus that from the 300. What, sorry? Did I not do it right? Do you mean 8 plus 1 times 3? And then minus that's, that from 300. That's what you meant, wasn't it? Yeah. Can anyone else smell bullshit? That's yeah. a bullshit right there. <laughs> this is a dog. <laughs> a dog. <laughs> All right, so what was that? Ten points to both teams? Ten points to both teams. <laughs> OK, so Sean and Richard have 27. John and Sarah are in the lead with 33. <laughs> Time now to go across to Dictionary Corner. Nick Helm, what have you got for us? I'm going to do a song now. Awesome. Yeah, well, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, I wrote it before uh, I got over Susie. It's off my forthcoming album, 100% Dent. <laughs> so. Life is hard, now so am I. After all the words between us, all the books you made me buy. <laughs> We've been playing games for years by now. I guess it's just a fact. You thought you broke my heart in two, but it barely even cracked. You hit me like an asteroid. You shot me with your dart. You didn't break me, baby, but there's a dent in my heart. There's a dent in my heart. Just a dent in my heart I barely even noticed When you ripped my world apart You sent me all those letters The entire alphabet <laughs> But I'm partially dyslexic So there's some I might forget I've been sat beside you all this time Can't work out what's gone wrong don't understand the words you said Because your words were far too long <laughs> On a scale of mass destruction When all is said and done It's a tiny inconvenience I guess I'll carry on You track me like a dictionary From off the highest thing You thought you crushed me, baby But it barely made a ding <laughs> There's a test in my heart just a little sense in my heart I made giving zero fucks look like a martial art There's a dent in my heart Yeah, my heart has a dent You chipped this heart of stone a bit But I fixed it with cement There's a dent in my heart Just a little dent in my heart I barely even noticed when you ripped my world apart a dent in my heart <laughs> There's a dent in my heart 
Just a dance in my heart Perhaps someday I'll take you back Then we can restart I'm really doing fine Stop asking how I feel I got a new Canadian girlfriend Who is definitely real Fantastic. Incredible pipes. What did you, in the song, what do you drop the dictionary from? Uh, I think. <laughs> you don't get enough thing in modern music, <laughs> I don't think. I had to rhyme with ding. <laughs> <laughs> I had to rhyme with ding. Yeah, a real, a real glimpse behind the curtain of the yeah. songwriter there. <laughs> Bob Dylan, every song, he's working back from ding. <laughs> it's still on the deal. Now I've got to go back. <laughs> that was fantastic, Nick. Incredible stuff. Super. Uh, the scores at the moment uh, Sean and Richard are on 27, John and Sarah in the lead with 33. <laughs> and here is your teaser the words are anus trim. The clue is it's all on show. That's anus trim, it's all on show. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the tease. The words were anus trim. The clue was it's all on show. It was, of course, naturism. Okay, onto another letters game, and it's time to ramp up the tension. It's time for the tension round. <laughs> In this game, we're playing for double points, so the pressure's on. Sarah, how do you react to pressure? Pressure, I'm okay with. It's fireworks. Dogs are scared of. <laughs> so I hope there's nothing loud. John, you don't like the tension round normally. Nobody but... likes the tension round. <laughs> the the viewers at home, the boys and girls at home, they love the tension round. Yeah, I know they've done a focus group. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're lucky it's not the 90s, or you'd be gunged every time. I take to gunge. Work. Gunge is fine. I can shower off gunge. I cannot wash my soul of fear. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll explain it to you now. Okay, it's it's not that bad, right? During the tension round, we're playing for double points, so we make it slightly more difficult. That seems fair, right? So there are a few explosions through the tension round. Oosh. When? Okay. But also, what second? you're picking the letters, and one of the letters is booby trap. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, it's only... It's one letter out of 26, so if you pick that letter, there will be an explosion. <laughs> but it won't but hurt the, Rachel, will it? It's important to remember, it doesn't matter. We're all <laughs> insured. <laughs> Is um, the booby trapped letter a vowel or a consonant? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Oh, you yeah, an absolute <laughs> piece of shit. Hopefully, we won't find out because it won't come up. It'll be a vowel, won't it? You think? What sort of schmuck booby traps a consonant? <laughs> Sean, have you got earplugs in? Is it obvious? Have I well, not... I would say you've got earplugs in, but they're sort of half in, I would say. <laughs> OK, I mean, they're in for good now. They're in for good. <laughs> OK, John, you're picking the letters. Consonant. D. Oh, no, I remembered the booby trap. Vowel. <laughs> e. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was going to be. What did I say? It's going to be a vowel. <laughs> you did say it was going to be a vowel. And it's almost like you're the man behind this show. <laughs> it's, uh, it's done now, so you've got nothing to worry about. Consonant, then. M. Consonant. R. Vowel. Oh, <laughs> they lied to us. He lied to us. Yeah, but would I lie again? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Consonant, yeah. please. Z. Vowel. <laughs> 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 Fucking shitting cock. <laughs> <laughs> 
You, when would you get Why did you go back when you knew that was going to happen? Because we need a vowel that isn't an E. Do you want to throw away that last E and then we'll get okay. something? No, 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 no. I fucking earned that E. Just got two. Just got two E's. Another vowel. I. There you go. A consonant, please. T. Ooh. And a final vowel. A final... <laughs> a. For double points, tension round. Your time starts now. <laughs> You are a lying turd. <laughs> how many? Uh, seven. Uh, Sarah, how did you do? I got seven as well. You got a seven as well? Fear okay. focused me, actually. Fear focused you? <laughs> yeah. Very unusual for a dog. Yeah. Uh, Richard Iwani, how'd you do? I've only got five. A five, okay. And Sean? Uh, I go for a six. Okay. So, Richard, what's your five? Rated. Sean, your six? Metered. John, your seven? Merited. Very nice. Oh. Sarah, you're seven? It's tasered. Tasered? Yes. Oh. oh, but look. Susie Dent, it's about to be a dick about things. Oh, my things. God, is it not in the dictionary? <laughs> no, I just think it might be um, a trade name. That's what I thought. That's why I didn't, <laughs> put, I didn't want to infringe copyright. Oh, no. But if you're happy to start an IP war, Sarah, <laughs> then you put down tasered. It's a war with no bloodshed. Mate. The best kind. Well. Sorry, I'm going to be... The fun police, because it has to be with an S, because it's an acronym from yes. Tom Swift's electric rifle. Exactly. Um, <laughs> basket. No. Basket. <laughs> Go to your basket. I don't think all this from you. Go to your basket. You're, not, you're just a guy I met on the train from Euston. <laughs> you're not my owner. Basket. <laughs> she was up and down the aisle, defecating. <laughs> I didn't like it when she was dragging herself along the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um... So, I did I miss that. Why was <coughs> tasered not allowed? Susie, just explain this. <laughs> Take your earbuds out. out. Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> God, it's like a different world. Basket. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, it's double points for the tension round, so that's 14 points oh, for John and Sarah. God. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, Nick, Susie Dent, could they have done any better? No, seven's the most. They oh. could have had meat here. Oh. So, at the end of that round, John and Sarah are in the lead with 47 points. <laughs> Just time to go across the literary corner one last time. Nick, what have you got for us? I've got one uh, poem. It's called Numbers. Numbers. <laughs> A million zillion particles, 10,000 billion stars, eight or nine round planets, including Earth and Mars. 97 minutes make up Jingle All the Way, 100 <laughs> works of literature and 50 shades of grey. Seven <laughs> Harry Potter books, nine pounds in my bank. A thousand souls who perished on the Titanic when it sank. <laughs> seven dwarves and seven days, seven deadly sins, seven wonders of the world, seven police academies. <laughs> <laughs> Four fingers in a Kit Kat, or sometimes you get two. There's eight billion people out there, but only one of you. You didn't lean all the way. That's yeah. absolutely. I can't, I can't reach. You'll get up. <laughs> <laughs> You've come to see him in prison. Touch the screen. <laughs> uh, Nick Helm, everyone. <laughs> Here is your final teaser. The words are oral bits. The clue is just go round and round. That's oral bits. Just go round and round. See you after the break.
Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were oral bits. The clue was just go round and round. It was, of course, orbitals. OK, time for our final letters game. Sean, Richard, your turn to choose. Rachel, can I have a vowel, please? Of course you can, Sean. O. And a consonant, please. L. And a vowel. U. And a consonant. H. And a vowel. I. And a consonant. J. Uh, a vowel, please. A. Consonant. R. Consonant. And S. OK, and your time starts now. <laughs> Dear Diary, something really weird happened. I guess it happens to a lot of guys. I was in bed and... and I found myself enjoying one of Susie Dent's books. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed and ashamed. It was full of fascinating facts and she's a wonderful writer, but I've been slagging off her books for years. <laughs> Maybe I should apologise and say something nice. But it's probably too late now. I'll think about it. Susie, I just want to say in, in front of everyone, um, your books are shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Do you think anybody ever goes to buy one of your books and then remembers something that Jimmy said <laughs> and goes, actually, I won't. Maybe not. <laughs> Genuinely, I'll say this on the record, I'm, I'm slightly... I've got a couple of them and I really like them and I'm obsessed by the podcast. Are you? I really like the podcast. Oh, well, it's, it's fantastic. time you told the lady. I mean, I don't think there's any comedy value in this, but I really like <laughs> it. Thank Can you. I come on? It's fantastic. OK, Sarah, how many? I've got five. Five. OK, John? I'll try a six, but I don't like six. it. You don't need to push yourself on this, do you? Because you've already absolutely nailed it. 47 to 27. Sean, how many have you got? I took that approach and went for jars. <laughs> Yeah. You went for jars. I decided not to push myself, because <laughs> John's already won. Let me just check with Susie Dent if jars is a word. Is jars a word? Yes. Well, Sarah had... You had five, five didn't you? Five, yeah. What did Richard have? It was, uh, five. Five. What um, was your five, Richard? Hails. Yeah. Susie's quite bored by that. But yeah, <laughs> OK. Sarah, yours? I had shoal. Shoal? Like a shoal of fish. Oh, that's a good word. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John, your six? <laughs> well, I thought I'd try rousal. Without the A. Well, you can be roused and aroused, yeah. so I wondered if you could have rousal yeah. and arousal. I bet you can in historical dictionary, John. Get it out from under the desk, mate, and let's <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> it's not in this one, I'm afraid. OK, Sorry. five points to both teams. <laughs> OK, uh, so Sean and Richard have 32 points, John and Sarah have 52. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's Countdown Conundrum. Mm. Sean's got it. It's, it's unusual for someone to come in before <laughs> we've, we've seen the mixed-up jumble, but what do you think it might be? If you get it now, double points, yeah. and he wins the game. 100 million points, I reckon. For 100 million points, what do you All think right. the nine-letter word is? OK. Um... Hmm. Uh... <laughs> oh, bobsleigh. Caretaker. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. You, you, no. No. Oh. Really? Think of something that, when you make an anagram of it, has got the word spunk or dick in it. <laughs> I mean, that's really reductive of the job that I do on this show. I feel that's really... I'm excited real, to see what well, this I feel is. that's a real cheap shot about the conundrum. A cheap a, shot? A cheap shot, like the idea that I just do it because it's like a rude word, mm. and that's my whole raison d'etre. Look, so your time sorry. starts now. <laughs> 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 Richard Iwadi. Serum ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to restart the clock. You've got six seconds to make the magic happen. John Richardson. Bum lasers. <laughs> it's not the right answer. But you got like three seconds and something you might need in the rain. Oh. Sean? Umbrellas. Umbrellas. <laughs> Sean, what? I've got it. Yes, for one million points. <laughs> For one million points. The jeopardy of getting it before it's revealed compared <laughs> to getting it when the clock's run out and you've been told the answer is slightly <laughs> diminished. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's oh, saying. Oh. Let's find out if, uh, if Sean's right. Yeah, he 
Well, I mean... He's right, so that's, uh, that's ten points to Sean. Ten million? What's that? Ten million. Yeah, You're promising ten million points. I know we're two metres apart because of the rules, but quick chat about whose fucking side you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are very loyal to like, everyone they've seen. Right. So like, I'm on everyone's team. Yeah. The real winner is Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And that's, how you, and that's how you end the show. With a freeze break. <laughs> Me punching the air. Uh, so the final scores are Sean and Richard have 42, uh, John and Sarah have 52. <laughs> so John and Sarah are now the proud owners of this, the Countdown Breakdancing Kick. Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Live international cricket tomorrow morning, 3.45 a.m. to 11.30 with England's Test Tour of India. You can watch here on Channel 4 and live on all four. Now, too much to Jean. It never cast gets a taste of student life and has Stephen kicked the bottle. Have a look in the hedge. Brand new back is next. <laughs>